Hi, and thank you for purchasing Hive 2 Expressive Suite. This video explains the installation process of Hive 2 and our MPE sound sets Aura, Delta and Halo. I'll also show how to set up Hive 2 for usage with the MIDI Polyphonic Expression Controller, short MPE. If you already own Hive 2, you can skip to where I explain the installation of the sound sets, but for now let's assume that you bought Hive 2 for the first time as part of our Expressive Suite. You will find the registration code for Hive2 inside your Expressive e customer account. Click the copy button to copy the code to your clipboard and then the register button that will redirect you to the manufacturer's website. Paste the registration code on Yuhi's website and confirm with redeem registration code. You'll be asked some personal information, your first name, your last name, which together will form your username and most importantly your email address. Click send license information then open your email inbox and check for an email by support at uhe.com. If you can't find it in your regular inbox, check your junk email your spam folder. There it is. You may want to whitelist the email address so you don't miss out on future emails by Yuhi. Inside the email, you find your actual serial number. Select and copy this to the clipboard. We're now going to download and install Hive 2. The program is always publicly available on their website, so you can directly choose the link for your operating system. Unzip the file you downloaded and run the installer. When the installation is completed, you can open up your door and load Hive 2 to a track. You'll be presented with a pop-up where you can choose to enter your serial number. Type the exact name that you used for registration and paste your serial. Hive 2 is now unlocked. To install the MPE sound sets of the Expressive Suite, go to your Expressive E user account and find the correct download links for your operating system. You will need to download and unpack all three zip files and then one after another run the installers. The installers will automatically put the preset data into the folders where Hive 2 expects it. Once all sound sets are installed, you can open Hive 2 in your door. Depending on your MPE controller and your DAW, the steps needed to make MIDI polyphonic expression work correctly will be different. For Osmo's owners, you will find links to help articles for setting up MPE in most popular DAWs in the video description. Here we are on Ableton Live, so I need to right click the instrument plugin and enable Ableton's MPE mode. Also, I will need to choose a USB MIDI port 1 as the MIDI input for the track. On Osmos, choose the MPE MIDI configuration preset for its external MIDI mode. In Hive 2 itself, you'll also need to activate MPE manually. In the Keys panel, at the bottom of the interface, you'll find two MPE switches. Click the left one to activate MPE, then click the right one to open the MPE parameters. For Control A, simply click Set to CC74 to make MPE timbre work. This corresponds to the aftertouch on Osmos' keypad. Now we're finally ready to dial up your freshly installed MPE sound sets. In the presets browser, find the user folder on the left. It gives access to all 300 presets of Aura, Delta and Halo. Select the sound and play away. <laughs> 